are we the only humans in the cosmos? If astronomers have found anything with the James Webb Telescope, our eye in the sky, this is a long-standing query because of the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope of some ominous-looking extraterrestrials. Numerous people in every society have been searching for life beyond ourselves, and these findings have helped us come closer to the solution. Numerous novels, movies, and concepts have been written about this subject. We seem to be hardwired to seek out companions, no matter how strange they may seem, because we have always been inquisitive about our place in the universe and have felt lonely. Join us as we examine the most recent discoveries made in the realms of planets and galaxies in pursuit of something we might not be ready to witness. They appear like we could be getting closer to the answers we truly desire, but are they really so scary? Scientists have discovered a significant finding during the James Webb Space Telescope launch in 2021. The telescope was set to find man-made light on Proxima b, the nearest exoplanet to Earth. Proxima b is in the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri, a dwarf star about 4.25 light-years away. Proxima b is thought to be tidally locked with a day side and a night side. A modern society on Proxima b could use photovoltaic cells to convert starlight into electricity. A study by Manus Lingam showed that future telescopes could see solar panels covering a large part of the day side. This could allow for the search for manufactured lights on exoplanets like Proxima b that could support life. The James Webb Space Telescope's better sensitivity and wider range of capabilities may have helped find the lights we were looking for, potentially accelerating the next significant step in human evolution. As soon as man became aware of himself, he began to try and answer the common but difficult questions of what we are, where we come from, and where we are going. Even though technology is advancing constantly, you have to wonder if we are any closer to answering any of the above questions. For example, if you ask an astronomer about the state of our knowledge about the world, he will probably jump up and down with excitement to tell you about the latest cool thing that scientists have discovered. Although the average person doesn't pay much attention to these tools, they are genuinely proof of how humans have evolved to the point where we can reach the world with our fingertips. It's time to reach the sky once again, and scientists and researchers have discovered one way to do so using technology. The most recent discovery of what may be light on a different planet light years away is attributed to a specific piece of that technology, the James Webb Space Telescope. Of course, the James Webb Space Telescope was made possible by the work of people who have already ventured into space to find answers to questions that will never go away. Like, are there no other people around? Who is there? And where do we start and end? Well, this infrared stargazing tool has already begun to answer some of these questions. Having said that, you might be wondering what Proxima b is. Proxima Centauri b, also known as Alpha Centauri b, is a super-Earth that orbits an M-type star. If you're still unsure, don't worry. This film will address all of your pertinent queries. A class of planets known as super-Earths exists that are larger than Earth but less massive than ice giants like Neptune and Uranus. These planets are really exceptional. They may be formed of gas, rock, or even a combination of the two, and their sizes vary from twice the size of Earth to 10 times its size. Proxima b is a planet that lies outside of our solar system and is considered a super-Earth. It is also known as an exoplanet. There are 5,653 known extrasolar planets in 4,161 planetary systems as of April 1, 2022, 489 of which had more than one planet at that time. These amazing findings are circling an M-type star. Before you can talk about them, you need to know about the red dwarf. The name comes from the fact that a red dwarf is the smallest type of star in the main sequence. The first possible signs of an alien were found in 1917, but they didn't pique people's interest. Scientists were stunned when they made their first positive discovery in 1992. Red dwarfs are the most prevalent type of star in the Milky Way. They are found close to the sun and don't emit much light, which makes it difficult to see them because brightness is one of the main ways we find planets and form other kinds of assumptions depending on their warmth and size. Sneaky stars have different names and meanings such as M dwarfs and M type main sequence. When we look back at Proxima b, we can see that its mass is equal to 1.07 Earth masses. It's interesting to note that one of its star circles takes only 11.2 days, whereas ours takes 365.25 days. You can guess how big the star Proxima is. 
going around the star is shockingly only about 0.16% as bright as the sun when the whole electromagnetic range is used to measure it. The brightness seems to fade even more in the visible light range, where it looks fainter because it illuminates 0.056% of the sun's brightness in the visible light range. Over 85% of the energy emitted by it is infrared light. Your question might be, why is Proxima B there? There are millions of stars, planets, and galaxies in the universe. Of course, there are a few things that make scientists very interested in this spot. Proxima B was discovered in 2016 and orbits around 0.048 Australian dollars from its star. The most intriguing thing about Proxima Centauri B, however, is that it may be possible to live there because it is in the habitable zone and has many options surrounding it. Astronomers have set out to find the furthest limits of what this star could do. Proxima B is the nearest star we currently know of, and it is also a member of the triple star system Alpha Centauri. Although Proxima B is not very bright, the system as a whole is one of the brightest in the night sky, coming in third after Sirius and Canopus. The James Webb Space Telescope can assist with that. Its main objectives are to search for light from the first stars and galaxies to form in the universe after the Big Bang, study how galaxies form and change over time, investigate planetary systems, and the origin of life from stars to exoplanets. These projects are getting closer and closer to their goals of finding alien life. The JWST is still exploring the exoplanet in question. People may wonder what SETI really is. People have always been naturally interested in poking and prying at anything that moves or doesn't move, which is why SETI became such a big project. Imagine that God has planned a large-scale treasure hunt in space, but instead of gold, we are supposed to be looking for signals or, more specifically, electromagnetic sounds from civilizations beyond our wildest imagination. The Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, is an organization dedicated to searching for evidence of intelligent life beyond the stars. People such as Nikola Tesla and Guglielmo Marconi came up with a novel idea in the early 1900s shortly after radio became a useful tool for humans. They were daring enough to believe that their new devices would allow them to reach out and touch the stars. The notion so intrigued Tesla that he even considered using his wireless broadcast system to communicate with Martians. Fast forward to the 1960s, and we find ourselves in the midst of Project Ozma, headed by the courageous scientist Frank Drake. Drake used a large radio telescope and a great deal of enthusiasm to search the radio waves of space for signs of life. Sadly, nothing came of his hard work, but scientists worldwide tuned in their antennas to hear the cosmic music. In the interim, our friends in the Soviet Union, which was located behind the Iron Curtain, were also interested in space exploration, led by the great Konstantin Tsiolkovsky. The stage was set for a space battle when Soviet scientists pointed their antennas skyward in an attempt to intercept those elusive messages from space. But what is this strange signal that broke through the background noise of space, making everyone tense and talking a lot? The wow signal shocked scientists worldwide. As the years passed, the search for extraterrestrial companions in space grew more intense, from the tiny SETI to the massive Project Cyclops. Scientists didn't cut corners in their quest to solve the cosmic puzzle. And then, by some strange accident or perhaps by fate, a coded radio signal from Mars appeared on our Hubble cameras, piquing our curiosity even further. But what does exploring look like today, and how far have people gone in terms of space travel? The 2021 study report discusses the detectability of artificial lights from Proxima b. Elisa Taba and Abraham Liab are investigating the possibility of artificial lights coming from the dark side of Proxima b, a planet in the habitable zone of its star. The study aims to determine if Proxima b could support intelligent life and how to find it. They also discussed the importance of Proxima b as a target in the search for alien life. A possible radio signal was recently picked up from Proxima b, adding another layer of mystery to the research. The Breakthrough Listen Project, which began in 2015, aims to search the sky for signs that could point to technological societies beyond Earth. The potential radio signal adds to the excitement among scientists and astronomy fans about the potential for intelligent life on Proxima b. This is in an effort to dissolve spatial barriers to communications. The signal, detected in the 9,982 megahertz frequency range, has yet to be confirmed as originating from an extraterrestrial source, 
but it remains a significant finding. The Breakthrough Listen team is conducting additional analyses to understand the nature of the signal and its potential origins. Despite their efforts, no conclusive evidence has been found. The search is complicated by the vastness of the universe and potential interference from earthly sources. Nevertheless, advances in technology, such as those made by the James Webb Space Telescope, are bringing us closer to understanding the cosmos. The research paper emphasizes the potential of detecting artificial light as an indicator of technologically advanced societies. With Proxima B's day and night sides potentially illuminated by mirrors or lights, the ability to detect such artificial lighting is crucial. To match the light output of Earth, the spectral band required to detect artificial light on Proxima B needs to be 103 times smaller. This technique could improve our chances of identifying artificial lighting from distant worlds. Advanced telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are revolutionizing our understanding of distant worlds. Its near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, plays a crucial role in identifying and analyzing exoplanet atmospheres. By separating light into smaller components, scientists can detect atmospheric gases such as carbon dioxide, methane, and water vapor. The mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, further enhances our ability to study exoplanet atmospheres, providing insights into heat patterns and temperatures. The James Webb Space Telescope's unprecedented sensitivity and observational power enable the study of faint signals from Proxima b, even against the brightness of its host star. This capability might help us understand Proxima b's environment and potential habitability. M dwarf stars, such as Proxima Centauri, have a bright pre-main sequence phase, which could pose challenges for planets within their habitable zones. Simulations suggest Proxima b might have had to wait 1,069 million years before it was suitable for life, raising questions about its current habitability. As space travel and exploration advance, exciting developments are on the horizon. NASA plans to establish a base camp on the moon by 2025, and private companies like SpaceX are working towards human missions to Mars. Elon Musk's vision for Mars colonization highlights humanity's drive to explore and settle new worlds. While the future may bring unsettling revelations about space, ongoing advancements in technology and exploration keep our quest for knowledge and companionship alive. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence, SETI, is not just about the technological aspects of detecting signals or lights. It also involves understanding the broader context of how life might arise and evolve in different environments. Scientists are increasingly considering the role of extremophiles, organisms that thrive in extreme conditions on Earth, as models for life that might exist elsewhere. For instance, extremophiles can survive in environments with extreme temperatures, pressures, or radiation levels. This insight expands our understanding of habitability beyond the classical Goldilocks zone, suggesting that life could potentially exist in a variety of harsh environments that were previously considered inhospitable. One notable concept emerging from astrobiology is the idea of biosignatures and technosignatures. Biosignatures are indicators of life, such as specific gases in a planet's atmosphere that could be produced by biological processes. Methane, oxygen, and ozone are some examples that scientists look for when analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets. Technosignatures, on the other hand, are indicators of advanced civilizations. These could include artificial lights, radio signals, or even megastructures like Dyson spheres, hypothetical constructs that could capture a star's energy output. Another significant development in the quest for extraterrestrial life is the advancement in space telescopes and planetary exploration missions. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, TESS, launched by NASA in 2018, has been instrumental in identifying thousands of potential exoplanets by monitoring the dimming of stars as planets pass in front of them. This data complements the observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope, offering a more comprehensive view of the planets in our galactic neighborhood. In addition to telescopes, space agencies are investing in missions to directly study the surfaces and atmospheres of planets and moons within our solar system. For example, NASA's Europa Clipper mission set to launch in the 2020s, aims to explore Jupiter's moon Europa, which is believed to have a subsurface ocean beneath its icy crust. Scientists are particularly interested in Europa because of the potential for life in its liquid water ocean. 
which could harbor conditions suitable for life. The study of exoplanets has also been enhanced by ground-based observatories. Instruments like the Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile and the Gran Telescopio Canarius, GTC, in Spain have contributed valuable data on exoplanet atmospheres and compositions. These ground-based observations, combined with space-based missions, help build a more complete picture of the potential habitability of distant worlds. Additionally, the development of new materials and technologies plays a crucial role in advancing our exploration capabilities. Innovations in spacecraft propulsion systems, such as ion thrusters and nuclear thermal propulsion, promise to make interplanetary travel more efficient and feasible. The concept of a space elevator, though still in the theoretical stage, could revolutionize access to space by providing a more cost-effective method of transporting materials and humans to orbit and beyond. Public interest in space exploration has also been fueled by popular media and private space companies. The portrayal of space travel in science fiction has inspired a new generation of scientists, engineers, and enthusiasts. Companies like Blue Origin, founded by Jeff Bezos and Virgin Galactic, led by Richard Branson, are working towards making space tourism a reality. Their efforts highlight a growing trend towards the commercialization of space, which could eventually lead to more affordable and frequent space missions. The ethical and philosophical implications of discovering extraterrestrial life are also being considered. The potential for encountering intelligent beings raises questions about our place in the universe and our responsibilities towards other forms of life. Such discussions underscore the importance of approaching space exploration with both scientific rigor and a sense of responsibility. As we continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge and technology, the dream of finding life beyond Earth remains a driving force in scientific research. Whether through the search for biosignatures, technosignatures, or direct exploration, humanity's quest to understand our cosmic neighbors is a testament to our curiosity and desire to explore the unknown. With each discovery and advancement, we come one step closer to answering one of the most profound questions of our existence. Are we alone in the universe?